Well, hey, Redeemer Bible Church. My name's Kyle. I'm one of the pastors here. I'm here with Pastor Tim. And we wanted to talk with you about a ministry opportunity that is going to be uh, coming up and available to you. We would love to call you for participation in this ministry. And this is uh, what we're calling the weekend prayer team. And so we're calling it that because both on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, we're asking our church members and uh, especially those who've already been part of our prayer team to be available and and uh, enrolled in a team where you will pray for people be, uh, after services and between services. Right. So, Tim, as care pastor mm -hmm. uh, and as uh, the pastor overseeing our prayer team, why is prayer important and why is it important for our people to be involved? It's huge. <laughs> you know, it's huge. It's what we do as Christians. And we know that after a sermon, people get moved and they need to have a place to go and to talk. So it's going to be really simple. We'll just hang out in front by the stage and just be there. And I can tell you not to be concerned about your ability to pray. We all know how to do that. And it's just a lot of listening. So if you're feeling pressured by this, please don't. It's a really simple it's a simple thing to do and you just listen to people and follow up and, and pray with them. And that's all we're asking. Mm. And it's, it's a commitment that can be uh, once a month, once a week, a couple services, whatever you need to do. My hope is we'll have enough people that we won't have a problem with manpower and the more the merrier. If we have 10 people yeah. up there, fantastic. Yeah. But we have, for lack of a better phrase, a captive audience and we just, we would we feel grieved as pastors if you had a moment and you had no one to talk to and you just walked away. Mm. So that's that's the big effort. And we know we have a mother load of experience at church, a lot of experience, and and we know you're out there and you can help our people. Yeah, I think we have these wonderful opportunities, just as you said, right after a sermon. Uh, quite often, that's when your mind is going, your your mm -hmm. conscience is engaged, mm -hmm. and uh, you, something happens. You, you get in your car and you drive 15 minutes away, and all of a sudden you're thinking about right. life again. Mm -hmm. And those opportunities for really investing in and, and engaging in that heart moment yeah. can be lost. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's such a an important thing to be able to provide for our church and our guests, our visitors, mm -hmm. to be able to pray with them. Uh, prayer, as we know, doesn't answer our requests. It aligns our hearts with God's will. And so in those moments where the Lord is really working on a heart, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the, the easiest, most simple thing to do is, is, to, is to ask the Lord to help them to understand his will for their life. Mm -hmm. And those moments where you might go away from church and then you, 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 you might even forget the sermon an hour later or forget mm -hmm. most of what you've heard, you'll remember those interactions mm -hmm for so much longer because those personal touches, those ministering moments mm -hmm. uh, have a lasting impact, right. right? And that's the whole point of the body of Christ is mm -hmm. Galatians 6, 2, to, to bear one another's burdens right. and fulfill the law of Christ. And this right. is a great way to do that. Yeah, we're to love people. And this is a super simple way to do it. And so I would really encourage you to consider this because it's important to the life of the church and for your own personal growth. So this is a good opportunity to help you take advantage of. And we do want to express that we're not asking you for much more than just the service that you would regularly right. attend. Right. So if you can be there for just 15 to 20 minutes of fellowship time at the end of the service you normally attend, where you would be designated, we're, we're trying to figure out what that looks like, whether it's a name tag or a t-shirt or something that just says, I'm here, how can I pray for you? And uh, Tim mentioned in front of the stage, we want to capture people right in the moment, but also as they're leaving the campus. So we're looking to have enough people to be in the lobby or out on the patio uh, and recognizable to be able to minister and serve to people. So if God is putting that on your heart uh, or if you feel like, hey, I, I, I'm not really serving, I would love to find a way to serve. Uh, this is a great way to uh, minister humbly to God's people by going before the Lord and interceding for them in just a very simple way of right. expressing, God, please help them to understand your will for their life. Help right. the church to come around them in love and care. Very, very simple. And I know that it's something you'll be blessed by and that God commands us to do, which right. is to come to him with our burdens, with right. our questions for wisdom, all of these things, and he will bless our church because of that. Right. It's it's exciting. And it's it's an opportunity just to serve the people in such a simple way. 
And so it's not a big ask. I think everybody does it. We're just kind of trying to formalize it a little bit and have some organization to it. But uh, yeah, I look forward to it. I look forward to meeting all you prayer people.